because today is the official starting day for Chad Harold as our campus pastor here at Missouri City. And we're so excited about this. I'm telling you, it's amazing. This is Chad and Sarah, and of course my wife Lisa. They have two children, Kaysen and Kylie, Bo, Kylie Bell. I think we have a photo. I don't know if we found the photo or not, but you'll see them around. And uh, they're the kids in trouble all the time. And uh, oh, there they are. It's great. Beautiful family. And I just want, if you're new here, let me just give you a little update. Uh, I'm telling you, Chad went through one of the most extensive vetting processes we've ever now, we figure if he could survive the interview process, he might be the guy. And um, he interviewed not only with me and the executive team and our pastoral staff and many of you, but also our advisory team, some of our trustees. I mean, it's been extensive. I mean, we, we, we put him through the ringer because this is such an important position. And then once we hired him, we said, you can't go down there yet because you got to spend five weeks with me to see if you can actually survive that. And... Uh, he was awesome. We, he went to every meeting I went to. He did everything I did. And I'm telling you, it was great. And here's the thing. We forged a good friendship and a great a partnership in this ministry. This job is particularly difficult. As the lead pastor, he's going to be speaking more. He's going to be leading the charge. He's the person that's, he's the captain of the ship here. He's the, responsible for what's going on here. And I'm, we trust him. And I'm telling you, not only does he meet all the biblical standards for our pastor, this is a man of character and passion for this community. They'll be moving into Siena in July. And so they bought a house and they're waiting for that to kind of be finalized and all that. But we're very excited for them to do that. It says, this is the passage of scripture that I uh, found. It says, how can, how then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? That is, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. That's Romans 10, 14 through 15. And so what we are saying to Chad as we're saying, Chad, we're trusting you with what God's provided for us here in Missouri City. And we're asking you prayerfully to lead with Christ-like integrity and to care for people and to care for people in this community. And he has accepted that challenge. And so I also wrote down here that, Chad, we want to make sure that you handle this responsibility of leading this mission uh, with, without sacrificing your family. I just want you to hear from me that your children, your wife, your family is the most precious mission field and precious possession, and nobody here expects you to put them on the back burner for our sake. We want you to care for your family. We want your children to grow up in church and think it's a great idea to be a pastor, okay? So, and you'll be setting that tone. My kids don't think that, so it's good, okay. <laughs> And we expect, and, and congregation, let me just say, we, we expect you to pray for this couple. They're new to this community. And I'm praying for, and I'm asking you to support them, uh, to follow their lead, to care for them, to provide for them, and to be their friend. And if you'll do that, will you just simply say yes? yes. There, there's our commitment to you. We, we, want, we want you to know that you're loved and we're committed to you. So why don't we stand in Chad's honor and let's say a prayer for him. We're going to do something weird, okay? This is weird. If you're new to church, this is really weird. But I wish everybody could surround Chad and Sarah and put their hands on them because there's something biblical about that. But we can't do that. So the weird thing that we're going to do is we're going to raise our hand toward them so they can see that we care about them. And if you're new or Catholic, this is strange, I know. So <laughs> we'll try it, okay? Let's pray for the heralds. Father, thank you so much for the uh, call you have on Chad's life, for the support and love and leadership that Sarah provides in ministry. And I pray, oh God, that you would, as they are commissioned for this work, I pray, oh God, that you would empower them, that they would feel your presence, that you'd give them eyes to see and ears to hear, and allow them to remember that this group of people that raise their hand in their honor say to them, we're with you, and we want to help our community. We want to reach our community with the good news of Jesus Christ. We want people to grow deep in their faith. We want our community to be different because of River Point, Missouri City. And we just pray, God, that you'd give Chad the courage 
and the faith. And this would grow his relationship with you in deep and profound ways that he would not find himself in a performance trap, but he'd relax in the Holy Spirit and find out how you want to work. And we just thank you for his life in Jesus' name. Amen. How great. Let's give them a big hand clap. Y'all can go off that way. So exciting. Hey, in their honor, we're going to have beer brats after this, okay? And there may be some cans of beer around. I don't really know. But, uh, but we're so excited for them. I'm telling you, this has been an amazing experience and an amazing time. So thank you for your support and help uh, in this and your patience. And I'm telling you, some big things are happening here. We have another staff member for our student ministry starting next Monday on the 13th. And some great things are happening here. So that's great. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next, Bain. Oh, oh, yeah, if you're new, oh, y'all, y'all can sit down. And then I'll have you stand up. So sorry. Thank you. So good. This is why they don't let me do this, okay? Hey, if you're new, we want to know who you are. So there's a welcome card someplace. Uh, fill it out, or there's a, you can text 33910. You can text the word welcome. And here's the thing. Chad will buy you a coffee. He might even buy you lunch, okay? And he'd love to reach out to you and get to know you. He doesn't know many people here, so you're new, he's new. It's perfect timing. So fill out that welcome card, and don't be anonymous anymore, and and let us know that you're here. And then in a couple weeks, Father's Day is happening, and we're going to do some big things for Father's Day, like serve bacon. (laughs) Is that awesome? Anyway, who doesn't like bacon? Anyway, so we're excited about it, and um, we're going to have a cookout right after this service and the next. So please be inviting your friends here to Missouri City. We have some great days ahead for us in the summer as we look towards the fall.